Senator Frist had another title that he acquired before he became a senator, and that is Dr. Bill Frist. Uh, he is an eminent uh, cardiologist and heart surgeon. Uh, he was asked to join a team to go to Haiti. Uh, I am disappointed uh, that uh, he is not with us tonight, but frankly, I cannot uh, challenge his um, priorities of rendering humanitarian service uh, to a country which is very much a neighbor uh, of our state of Florida. Well, we have three significant problems in health today. The first is access. Approximately 50 million people in this country at some time during the year have no access to health insurance. Uh, about 48% of us who have health insurance have inadequate insurance today. We don't cover everything that's necessary. And according to the Center for Medicare and Medicaid Studies, approximately 30,000 people die every year just because they don't have access to the system. The last time we dealt with health care in a meaningful way was 93 and 94. We had about 34 million people who didn't have insurance at that time. So it's gone up six, uh, 26 million people. The second big problem we have is one that most of us can identify with, and that's cost. Today we spend $8,000 for every man, woman, and child in the country. Uh, back in 1993 and 1994, that figure was $3,400. Now we spend $8,000 in taxes, in premiums, and out-of-pocket expenses. Unfortunately, we also have a quality problem. And that's really something we have a hard time understanding. You have the Mayo Clinic here in Florida. I happen to be on the board of the Mayo Clinic for several years. And, and that's one of the finest institutions in the world, and people come from all over. Unfortunately, not everybody can access the Mayo Clinic. Um, I'm sure you have other fine institutions as well. But the World Health Organization last year uh, listed the United States overall 37 in outcomes. Uh, that is just below Costa Rica and above Slovenia in overall outcomes. Um, the Commonwealth uh, uh, Analytical Organization, probably the most respected analytical organization in the country, listed us 19 in terms of our ability to recover from recoverable disease, 19 out of 19 industrialized countries. So we have a serious quality problem here, audiences, that I believe if this legislation passes, in the context of cost, access, and quality, we're probably at the 30-yard line with 70 yards to go. Uh, and so it really doesn't do anything other than give us a very good beginning, a good foundation. You can't fix what you can't see. And as long as we have an opaque health market, this is going to happen. There isn't a politician in Washington that hasn't given his, his or her speech on fraud and abuse, not only on Medicare, but on so many other things. But fraud and abuse, uh, and we, I, I think Bob and I, in our 18 years in the Senate, voted on several efforts to deal with abuse and fraud in Medicare and Medicaid and in the health care market. Uh, the problem is, as long as it stays so opaque, it's almost impossible for us to police it adequately. 